for both of those problems, and they never were responsive to it. And it's it's unfortunate too that, that when when Dana Messel, the Attorney General of Michigan, went out and saying that with that whole press release of saying why well, you shouldn't do this, the evidence won't stick. Um, it, it was just everything was BS. It was completely ridiculous. Have you ever thought about going to the academy and becoming a police officer? Um, no, I never thought about that. Why? I like I like my programming work. I'm already set in my career, and. Um, no, I mean, honestly, it'd be tough being a police officer because you see people at your worst and you would have to figure out who's lying all the time. It, I think it would get to anyone. You know, I really do. So this is a hobby. Yeah, it's what, it, yeah, it's, it's what I do on the side. It's a hobby. Yeah. And, and, and yet you're having some success with it. And, and I, listen, I think seven convictions using your evidence, and it sounds like you've only turned in seven cases, for lack of a better word, to the uh, Grand Rapids uh, prosecutor and all seven were tried or pled guilty? There were a couple of them that they didn't charge, but I have no idea why. I think maybe they thought that, oh, the evidence wasn't gonna work and they looked at some other cases and they thought it wasn't gonna work. Um, but, I mean, I have no idea why they didn't charge some of the ones that I did in court. But it was only, I think, maybe like two. So. Um, but. But yeah, they should have done it. They should have gone all out. Did I found her pretty hard, but I can't really go in. Or in the uh, pleas of guilty? Uh, six. One, yeah, so uh, most of them pleaded not guilty and, and took it to trial up until the day of the trial where, where they pled guilty at the last second. Um, She's like, nice, I have to be a little bit okay, careful. Yeah, I, I people, wondered that. Yeah, yeah. most people, they hold, uh, out. they hold out hoping for a better deal, less jail time, or prison time. Um, you know, they, they have nothing to lose until the day of trial. And then once it comes to trial, if they go through a trial and lose, instead of getting the year that the prosecutor is promising, they could get four years or five years or six years. So there's a there's um, an opportunity, there's a negotiation. Yeah. Sometimes okay. they, they call it, you know, settling on the doorsteps of trial. Oh, and yeah. so it sounds like that's what happened. But what was yep. your involvement in all that? So. I was called to testify for a lot of the, the people alleged to I could, uh, have uh, something flash cued, but I already um, used um, it. All of them ultimately that was a good, guilty, uh, so I was ready stuff. to go to court to testify against them. There was one who took it to trial, and so I was called to testify against him, and he lost. The jury deliberated and, and found him guilty. And so the, the offense in Michigan, they only charged him, by the way, with a, a cussing in Michigan, a cussing a child for a minor for immoral purposes, when they could have charged these guys with so much more, like using a computer to commit a crime, right? To right. felony, some other stuff. They, they charged him with accosting, enticing, or soliciting child for immoral purposes, 750.145 little a. Yeah. Um, and that's a, that's a, that's a felony. It's, it's a four-year felony. Yep. Um, and yeah, I was curious why they didn't charge him with other things. Me too. But this is this is a pretty easy and broad statute that I'll put up for our viewers right now, um, so they can see. Oh, you know, it's a person who accosts, entices, or solicits a child less than 16 years of age. And this I thought was interesting in the statute, regardless of whether the person knows the individual is a child or knows the actual age of the child or an individual whom he or she believes is a child less than 16 of age with the intent to induce or force that child or individual to commit an immoral act to submit an act of sexual She's killing the NCS pretty hard. And and on and on and on. Yeah. It's a pretty broad yeah. statute. So right? yeah, it's being operation too by saying only if the predator believes that the child were to exist. The child doesn't have to exist. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm in my 20s. Like, the child doesn't exist. Right. But it's all in the mind of, of right. the, What's the in their mindset? Totally. So that's why you could, a 27-year-old dude could say, I'm a 13-year-old girl, and they, they could get convicted of this statute. Right, and so when people say entrapment, it's really not, no. let alone, I'm not even a police officer. I was going to do it well. That's right. You just said my legal line. Yep. You have to be a police officer to be con to be accused of entrapment. That's correct. So you yep. cannot be charged or accused with entrapment ever. Right, yep. So, right, so that's what they charged against. You know, listen, prosecutors want convictions. They want these people to go away, and they charge them with, you know, sometimes some people will overcharge yeah. with lots of things, and then they negotiate down. I don't have six but yet, I can't. pretty um, easy... Um, statute yeah. to, to get the victims that you, or to get the predators that you're finding. Um, yeah. So seven out of seven, give or take, there was a couple that they didn't follow up on and you don't know. Right. Um, what can 15, 16 year old girls do and what can their parents do and how should, I mean, I, I have teenage sure, daughters, good. you know, and they're online Yo, yeah. and, and they're, you know, they're playing their games and so how should we, how can we best protect our children? 
I think have an open dialogue of with your with your kids about what is and what isn't right when talking to people online and what they say that that can be very alarming. Um, and to for the, to have that discussion with your kids that hey, let me know like who contacts you online, how old they are, what they're saying, um, because a lot of times too, sometimes predators when they contact me. Sometimes it's immediately like, oh, you are so sexy, I want new pictures of you, whatever. Other times it can take it can take weeks or months for them to actually evolve a conversation and to just a, a friendly one to a sexually charged conversation. It's, it's, it's grooming takes for some people a week and others like a month. It's very interesting. So um, parents could, should also maybe, depending on the age of the kid, uh, kids, um, consider some sort of monitoring software to see what they're doing. And I think it's very important to trust your kid, but verify. Damn, she make took sure so many to take it down. It's very weird when I grew up because the, there was just one computer. There was no smartphone. I, I got a smartphone last year. Isn't that crazy? Um, wow. For, or for two years crazy. ago, in 2018. But it was very, it was a very different because now I see little kids with phones on the internet, and it's it's very different from when I grew up because there was just like the one computer, and behind it was like 20 feet, like the dining room, the kitchen. Mom and dad could walk by, you know, see what you're doing. So you didn't do anything, and of course, I wasn't, I, I wasn't talking to men online or like women or whatever. But it's very different now in that the internet can be in your your kid's bedroom when the lights are off and they're on their phone. And do with that, and most of the traffic that I that I see, and like I saw this happen when I developed websites, it constantly went from desktop to mobile phone. And part part of me freaked out because I'm like, this is crazy because you can conceal anything. So it's just very important for parents to know what the kids are doing online, and set boundaries for I, the kids. I agree, and I do uh, all of those things, um, but it's so scary. Yeah, you had a what did you have a flip phone before 2018? Yeah, I did. you had a flip phone. Yeah, one of my lawyers like still has a phone. phone. Oh, really? And no I can't, way. I'll, sh I'll introduce you to him oh, when you leave. Um, cool. How old is the phone? Um, I don't know. They're still, they're making flip phones again. Oh, are they? Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them. Yeah. Dang. So that's awesome. You, that's funny. Let's talk about. Um, let's talk about who goes first. So, um, some of your critics, you know, we talked about in traffic. Okay. And yeah. and I think the the lawyer who sued you said. You go online playing, pretending that you're an above eighteen year old girl, no. um, a sexy girl. You're 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 teasing these guys. You're flirting, and then they come on to you, like that's some kind of excuse. Okay. Yeah. Tell us how it works when you're on a when you're on a chat room like that. How do you find the predators? Okay, so that's total BS. I never posed as, as an adult first. I thought the predators mentioned sex. Um, I just pretend to be an average 13-year-old girl, 13-year-old boy, 14-year-old boy, 14-year-old girl, whatever, and I let the, the predator do the, the conversation, you know, however it will evolve. So what, what, give me an example of something you'd shoot out there uh, as, as a first shot okay. of the bow. Okay, so, so like someone will, will contact me, like say, like, hey, like, where are you from? Like, oh, I'm from Grand Rapids. And I, how old are you? I'm 14. How old are you? And they'll say their age. They lie about their age all sure. the time. Oh, yeah. Um, but after that, they'll say, what are you doing? And then I'll just say, oh, I'm just listening to Billy Eilish or whatever, you know, what, what 14 year olds like. And they'll say, oh, I'm stroking my cock right now. And sometimes they won't. Sometimes they won't say that. Sometimes they'll say, oh, really? What, like, what, is, what does she sing? Is she a good singer? And they'll be friendly for however long until they advance to talking sexually. And it, it depends on the predator. Sometimes it's instant. Other times it takes a long time, but it's all part of grooming. I pretend to be uh, an innocent however old person I'm, I'm portraying. Does your this. profile say that? It depends on like what app or what site is. Okay. Um, like it, it depends like like Whisper, Kick, Omega, it all depends. Um, sometimes they, they find me, other times it's like strangers matching up and they they ask like how, how are you doing and then I say how I'm doing and it just takes off from there. It really depends on like like where it is. Like some, some things don't really have profiles. And a lot of the, the original ones, because I didn't have a smartphone a few years ago, a lot of people didn't know this, but it was just via email. It, it was oh. via e from email. Just got it, so that so, so now that you have your smartphone, you can multitask. Oh, yeah. So how many it's investigations, nice. I'm going to use the word investigations, because yeah. I, I don't know what, what another word to use, do you have going at any given time? Um, right now, how many so, sickos are you talking to online? Okay, actively right now, I'm only talking to three, but I have on Kick um, a messenger service. Um, I have like a lot of 
to like requests for people to talk, but I'm just busy with other guys. It, so they're requesting to you. Yeah. They're, but what does your profile say? Um, it doesn't say anything. It's just a picture. But a lot What's of times. Picture of. I guess a little bit, but it doesn't matter. But is it a little girl? This is um, uh, when I start to get uh, my damage out. I do not want to give away the trade secrets because I don't listen. I want. Because he saw it pretty much. So that I could. Yeah, me too. So I don't want to give away trade too much. secrets. You're right. Me, me either. Right. Uh, but but you have a picture up there that uh, people are liking and they are uh, reaching out for conversation. That's correct. Let's yeah. leave it at that. And a very young looking girl. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted it. Instantly, I always say the H. Instantly. And. This whole, what the attorney against me a few years ago said was, pose as an adult first, total BS. So that didn't happen. Total BS. So, so. That's terrible. Let's, let's cl close the chapter on those civil cases. I'm yeah. sorry that I'm jumping over, but I got so many questions that okay, just are flooding my brain, Zach. That's fine. Yeah, there's you're a fascinating guy. Um, the civil case, you're suing. She can jump on me, but I just go away. Twenty-five thousand dollars for each of the two cases. Yeah. You Super told me concerned. you're not a rich guy. You don't have a big bank account. You're making money off selling T-shirts and you have your day job. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. And and, and so yeah. this guy thought you were making millions on YouTube. Yeah. And they thought they were gonna milk you. Yeah. In the complaint, it, it said they had no idea, no idea how YouTube works. They said, oh, because you have this amount of subscribers, YouTube pays for the amount of subscribers you get. Therefore, you're making rich. And I'm like, what? It's like you don't even know. First of all, in order to make money on YouTube through from YouTube, you need to have ads on she your still videos. Me in CS, but person with a brain really would see that there are no ads on the Predator videos. Her builds kind and of all over the place insane. too. And I was offended at that. That this is being brought to court on complete lies. Right, and we on the show we've addressed. You know, anybody could sue anything about anything at any time. You know yes. this. Um, typically, a plaintiff's lawyer. I'm a plaintiff's lawyer. Will not file a lawsuit unless there's a potential recovery yeah <laughs> and like usually there's insurance yeah or if the person you know does have a lot of money you can verify that and they did something really bad yeah you could sue and, and and try to you know get a judgment against that money yeah um it sounds like this guy missed missed the target sued yeah. you you told him you didn't have any money and it eventually got both cases got dismissed without any payout that's correct um they saw the Predator videos with millions of views and they thought that translated into a lot of money. Um, when there was nothing, there was, I wasn't making anything off of well, the You Predator set up a videos. GoFundMe page to, to, oh, yeah. to pay I for a lawyer. Any money. Yeah, that's right. I wish, oh, uh, and it's a lot of money too. Attorneys are expensive. I, yes, they are. So it must have been a contingency basis for these guys that were suing because there's no other way. But he made no money. No money. Yeah. And I can't no believe these guys had the, the balls to sue you. Uh, because, first of all, truth is a defense to all that stuff. Truth yeah, it is, is a defense. Yep. So the fact that these guys were predators, they were doing what they were doing, they both, both those guys pled guilty to something, right? Those were not the guys who, yeah. one of those two guys didn't go to trial. Both yes. those guys pled guilty. Yeah, one went to prison and then one went to probation. Right. Yeah. So, so they had no case. That was a bad civil case that they brought against you. I'm it sorry. Work. It didn't work. No, but you were, yeah. you were scared. Oh yeah, man. Oh, and that when, took off. How many years did that last? Um, let's see. a little less than a year. Well, okay. Um, it, it, yeah, it was when people are suing you in circuit court for per, per case over twenty-five grand or more. All it takes is is one corrupt judge or, or whatever. Who knows? To screw you over. But it sounds life. like you and know I'm, what? Grand Rapids has great people and great judges, and, and obviously that didn't happen. And it was you, weird. You, well, it was weird. Oh, check this out. So I was representing myself at first, right? And so I would go to this legal assistance center and they, they were just, just people like, like law students helping, helping people for whatever case they're on, right? Um, and one of the legal assistance persons, this, this um, uh, future lawyer told me, he's like, hey, I should probably disclose this, but the attorney who is suing you is on our board of trustees. So I'm like, oh! I thought, no way! So I got out of there. So you bailed? Oh yeah, corrupt. And you finally found a, a lawyer? Yeah, you know, I wonder if the lawsuits were sponsored. Here's here's the thing, a little conspiracy theory that I have yeah, here. that I that I can't help but to think. So, the Grand Rapids Police and the prosecutor really wanted me to stop, and I wonder because of, of the attorney's connections with the courthouse, I wonder if some people got together and said, "How do we shut this guy down to where he doesn't confront predators anymore?" Because um, he's making us look bad. And so I partially wonder if they thought, "Okay, the police is saying that we're against this, this isn't stopping him." 
So they wanted me to focus the Draven earlier, so now I'm focusing the Draven. Probably giving some money to the board, or at least donating time, or, or whatever he's doing. So I'll freak I out. see how that'd be disconcerting. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. Let's take a break for okay. 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 So as I was watching your videos, I saw that you've, you've taken some breaks. A little bit, yeah. So what's what's going on with the intermittent breaks? Your your fans are not happy about it. Traditional work, okay. okay. Just traditional work. Um, sometimes it's talking to predators, just but but very few and far between. Okay. Um, but just while while doing work, and sometimes it really gets to you by having so much attention, especially when you get sued and uh, when everyone on TV is against you and there's some BS media report. Sometimes it's just there's nothing like being behind a computer and just doing your own thing and no one's watching it. You just made me think of something. It's not, not my next. Oh, I took Echo out of the fight for a little while. Confronted by a news media uh, outlet in Grand Rapids. I gotta wait out as well. You're in your car, you're sitting in your car, you have your dark sunglasses on, and then you commented on your channel that you weren't thrilled with how you handled it. Oh, wow, he didn't know. Uh, I was waiting it out. Being bamboozled by this reporter. Yeah. Um, and I thought that was interesting. And I, I liked your honesty, and I liked that you commented on it. Um, what do you wish you would have said to that reporter? If you could do it again. Um, I wish I wish I would have said nothing. Um, just because it she she they're aggressive. Ambush journalism is, is a real thing. Right in front of my car as I was riding off. So it's like crap, of course I have to stop. But you're ambushing these guys. Oh yeah. And so the, I saw a parallel there. I'm a good guy. I'm not trying to have sex with kids, you know. You're a good guy. I, I I'm not disagreeing with that. But it, there's I think as a Out of context kid, that is a, something. If viewers, your 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 fans out there. Like, one thing that I'm surprised about as I'm watching your videos are that these guys, most of them aren't running. Most yeah. of, like, the walking dude who Very you just, yep. they're just walking for miles, walking to Indiana. Yep. Um, yeah. The old, you know, Chris, Chris Santa Claus is just uh, the Santa Claus guy, and they're just talking to you. And, yeah. you're, and I asked Chris Hansen this um, when I had him on the podcast recently. Like, why aren't these guys bolting? Why aren't they ripping your glasses off your face? Why aren't they attacking? Why aren't they driving away? What's your take on Stop that? it. Okay, so, um, real, she doesn't real quick about the media thing. I think that the, it's so weird that they go up to me, and I've always thought, why is so much attention on me? Why, why are the media going to my house? I'm just a witness. I'm just reporting what's happening. Why aren't they going to the predator's houses and, and getting their side and what they have to say for themselves? Why me? I always, I always thought that was ridiculous. But it's very interesting you mentioned that about why they feel the need to, hey, if, if I was in their shoes, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to bolt. I'm going to run. I'm not going to say anything that can be used against me. And it's so weird because I've confronted in, 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 in person 19 of these guys. Um, all but two said at least something to me. And the one guy was uh, about a week ago. The video isn't out yet. Another guy was, was um, like last summer. But it's very interesting, and I believe, and I'm interested to hear Chris Hansen though, but this is what I believe. I believe it's due to their manipulative nature and, and wanting to be in control of the situation, in control of everything, whether like grooming who they think to be an underage girl or boy, or trying to convince me that they're not there for the reasons he's that he's I believe going on. they're there for. It's like they going they on want to try to control the situation much like they want to control the community yeah. thing that kind of, as a minor. Uh, and um, I think that's about. why they open their mouths and not bail out of it. Well, the really confrontation do. thing, I mean, you were confronted in your car. You knew you should have spoke. 
You're smart. You're a smart guy, oh. and you smoke. You spoke anyway. Well, I was interested to hear what was going on because I like the news is like uh, they said. Oh, have you heard about the press release? And I'm curious at this point. I'm like, what press release? Oh, from, you're talking from about who? Dan the Nestles. I did Yeah, I didn't know if I was being sued. I didn't know if there were predators on my way to my apartment. Or, I had no idea what was going on. So I wanted the information. They said, did you hear about this? I'm like, of course not. I don't read the attorney general's press release, but the media does. And they 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 found that and went off to my apartment with it. And it's like, no, like I haven't, but I was curious to know what it was. And that's why I wanted to talk. Because I'm like, what is this? And the attorney general, they told me that the attorney yeah, general said all this. And they're like, what do you think about that? It's like, I haven't even read it. I'm just paraphrasing what it says. And I can't, I can't read it. You know, so I can't say anything so much. You know? Right, right. So, so I just, I found it really interesting that they talk and talk and talk. Like this one dude, I don't remember any of his names. And, and I, yeah. I'm sorry for that. But no, the, no. the one guy with the weird glasses, um, where you got into his car, uh, he emailed you an update apologizing yeah. after. Oh, no. What was his name? His name was uh, Dan. Um, I, 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 I probably butchered his last name, but I have it all the time. I wanted to cue, no, but he didn't let me. All 19 of these guys are all 19, were they all put, stuff. Put, put into a video and put online? Yes. Sometimes YouTube has deleted some, okay. and some were removed. Um, except, well, there was, there was a, an, an upcoming one that I haven't uploaded yet. Um, but, but yes, all, all 19. Now, there have been, for every predator that I confront, there are so many more that don't show up, and sometimes I make a video about them, and sometimes I don't. Um, but there are lots, there are lots more, you know, it's, the people who actually want to meet up, and actually, a lot of people want to meet oh, up, the people who actually find it. themselves driving in real life doing that, to where I can confront them, very few. Most predators just want new pictures, and um, they may entertain the idea of meeting up, and then they think it's too dangerous, so they, they think it's less dangerous to get news from who they think to be a girl. Which is crazier, Crazy. because federal law is way against that. That's even Where? arguably worse of a crime in the eyes of the law, isn't it? it? Well, yeah. Child pornography is one of the most serious offenses, up there. I think it's 30 years. Yeah. And I'm sure if they, any one of these guys probably have all that, maybe allegedly oh, have man. all that on their computer <laughs> because the, the one title the one video you call most bizarre predator ever seen yeah. and he's sending uh he's sending general shots right away he's i think he's the guy standing on his porch yeah with the with the with his uh, washcloth over it like yeah oh my god he's and, but he's his whole face oh, this yeah. is somebody's father this is somebody's grandfather probably. Oh, he's, he's a big supervisor um he, he would I, he would construct schools and stuff like that he's a big supervisor and it was weird because in one of the pictures, one of the new pictures he sent me, he was just staying in uh, an underdevelopment business, like inside of a place that was being worked on. Uh, and I'm like, what's going on here? I never figured it out until I posted the video and people were commenting like, like, dude, that guy was my boss. Oh, and my I'm like, God. I'm like, holy crap, this makes sense now. So he would go to the job site early to snap a picture. One of them, he was nude. Everything was nude except for he had shoes and socks on. He was just standing there, and there's like freshly poured concrete and, and like something that looked like shelves being constructed. I go and I'm like, this is probably like a super school. It's kind of wild. Now you mentioned that, that the guy with the uh, the old guy on the porch, he was convicted. He yeah, guilty to something. You turned over all the evidence to the Grand Rapids police. Yeah, and they found they found child porn on him, and well, he's out now. You know, they go to they go to prison. They take they you know they get paroled out, and but you're ruining their lives. Out. They're losing their jobs. Their families are probably you know alerted to this. Yeah, um, they, they ruin their lives. I mean, sure. they're ruining their lives. Yeah, yeah. they're helping. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm uh, reporting. Yes, you're reporting. Yeah. Now, let's talk about. Do you ever bring a weapon with you to the uh, meetups? So before I would no, I would just carry um, a knife sometimes, pepper spray sometimes, and then I would have a uh, Kevlar. Um, but now I carry a gun. I have a concealed carry permit. That's that dude. So okay, so you're getting into these people's cars. I did not have my concealed carry permit <laughs> then, and my mom told me that I shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't and get in cars. Well, you need your mom to tell you you're not. You shouldn't get in these pedophiles' cars. Mom. You no. obey your mom. What um, does your mom think about all this? Oh, she's very okay. So the only thing she doesn't like is me getting into people's cars. And I, have I don't to make like mom it either, Zach. I know, and it's crazy because I didn't have a weapon at the time. And um, but you know, you, with I, or without I, a weapon, here's you shouldn't be getting in cars. Right. <laughs> I mean, at that point, yeah. you know, I think I once had a police officer tell me that her best weapon is this. Because you can call the police. You can call them on one. 
I'm just saying, these guys, I mean, are, are you afraid? I mean, you, has any of these guys ever pulled a weapon on you? If someone were to pull a weapon on me, I could call the police and they would find my dead body like a half hour later. Do you, you know? think, there's I mean, nothing that beats just having a nine at your hip to, just in case, worst case scenario to use in the event of self-defense. And I feel comfortable with that, you know, instead of just calling the police. I guess I kind of know what Detroit's probably worse than downtown Detroit. I think the response times are terrible. We got some great police officers here. So, but you're... you're oh, you're I didn't get the driver's side. For what reason? Like, I saw you get into at least a couple cars. How many have you gotten? Well, he had Jolly Ranchers in that car. Uh, so. He was chewing the Jolly yeah. Ranchers. Um, that guy was chewing the Jolly Ranchers like they were out of style. Like, like they were eating potato chips or something. Partially because it was super windy that day. And it was a pain to edit because I had to channel it with just putting the left audio in the camera because the right camera in the so for sound but part quality of it, part of it was audio but most of it was just because i wanted him to feel comfortable so he could open up a little bit more and he um, was a talker oh he was he was but he saw this as a chance to try to manipulate me and in, in thinking that in, like offering the giant ranches he wanted me to be comfortable too and for him to manipulate me into thinking that Oh, like, he was just visiting his, like, grandma at the same time? Well, uh, let me just remember this. Every, I mean, every person says that they were there to counsel the girl not to go through with what they were there to do. A lot of people say that, yeah. I don't believe a word of any of that. No, not at all. I mean, that's not it's even credible. It it's true. a little insane. Yeah, absolutely. They did the meetup in a strange parking lot or park or whatever. To then counsel the girl not to go forward. And it especially, it especially doesn't make any sense when they were the ones who talked about sex first. Not only that, but when they send pictures of, in, in like, like penis mm -hmm. pictures, just, I'm, I'm not sure what all I can say yeah, on here, in but. In my opinion, they're oh, liars. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're just liars. But yeah. this thing that really scares me, and I watch these videos, and I don't know about the audience's take on this, but this was not most likely the first time they had a meetup. I really wonder if they did. You think you caught them on the first time? Oh, they all say it's the first what time. What do you, but come on. I know. I mean, let's, let's be logical. It, it, whenever somebody does something like that, do you really think you happen to be coincidentally their first time and you busted them and they're done and no kid has ever been harmed? Or do you think this is their fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth time? Um, I mean, I think I about might. that, like... Oh, come you know, on. They're not letting me cue for the kills. ...that you scared the crap out of them that they will no longer do this. And, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for the seven that have been prosecuted. About the other 12, I mean, are they out there trying to find um, kids still? I mean, everyone's out there. They're all out. They're all out of, of jail, prison, whatever. They're all out. And I think they're even all off probation. But, but they're still stuck with them, probably. Yeah, they are. That's, I think, I think that's I not that works. Works. No, I don't, I don't think so either. It, maybe it could make them worse because now everyone knows they're a pervert. Um, I wonder if you keep doing this if you're going to come across people again. I, I wonder if the same has. He Chris has. Nick. He has. Um, there were many cases where um, after I confronted I wonder who I was talking to. Especially through post and living, like that one case we talked about earlier, and that a predator four months before um, I met him actually had sex with a real uh, underage girl. Yeah, that's crazy. There were some cases where, including that guy, where people see the video and uh, young women, or, or even if they're still underage, and they, they send me a message and they say, hey, I met that guy. And so, like, that catches my attention. I'm like, hmm, are you sure? What's his name? Sometimes they can tell me exactly what his name is. I've even had pictures of, of girls sending me pictures that they sent of themselves with the predator. Like, but of course, you know, they're appropriate pictures. But um, one girl, sent, with that guy I just mentioned, that who had sex with a real 14-year-old girl, another minor at the time sent a picture to me of herself with the, the predator. They were just yeah. smiling. Yeah. That proves my point. Exactly. That's the first time this happened. Not they're enough. stopping bad people. Yeah. They're in, so they're in public schools. It's so weird and it freaks me out. If you were to know everything about all these guys. So let's see. I did pretty good that game. Draven just gets destroyed by this character. Like, I picked him because I, I knew there was going to be a, a Draven, so I could just ult on and queue him. 
Uh, Cassidy. I don't know. I'd say he's a pretty cool champion. He's not bad. Can't take compliments, I swear. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> I don't see it. 